so it is the most unique custom room out there it's based on lineages and it is having a lot of privacy features privacy options i made a video some time ago on this os and the os and the custom room which i'm talking about in this video is eos eos foundation by the way that was based on android 11 and it was for redmi note 8 not exactly only for redmi note 8 it was the room which i tested on redmi note 8 now i have installed it on elioth which is mi 11x you can install it on some other device is also the list of the supported devices is quite long i have the list of supported devices and the link for all of those is in the description that was based on android 11 previously and now it's based on android 12 which i have tried so in the terms of ui and default things just of course same you can see the swiping things are just basically same like the previous one which is having some advanced privacy options and some weather related settings you can customize all these things it's quite interesting one this room always gives you insane good kind of features in the terms of ip address hiding you can use inbuilt vpn basically advanced privacy options a lot more things are included this room is not having any kind of google play services pre-installed you already know that i think so and yes this was kind of expected one more thing is if i move on to the quick settings panel as the previous version which i was talking about based on android 11 had the android 11 style quick settings panel as it is based on android 12 so this is what we have android 12 style quick settings panel so if you're one of the users who don't like these kind of quick settings panel um no choice for you if you want to use this thing you need to use this quick settings panel it's just because same it's aosp or you can say lineage os it's basically same only with advanced options for example the first thing is which is kind of different here the different store which is included it's not aurora store it's kind of same aurora store but it's not and also it is not having any kind of play store installed and like that it was quite expected no after all by the way you can install that it's totally up to you but by default it's not there this includes some cool features and if you want to install any apps from here you can install very easily you can even search for the apps and this is what we have and you can use your google account also this is app launch you have the option to sign in with your google account but of course if you want to use this thing and if you still want to use if you still want to sign in with google i don't think so it makes sense in the terms of browser which is by default included it's basically same like chrome and if i move on to the about options you can see it's a fork of chromium and bromite or maybe chromium or bromite and yes the ui is just basically same so that's good this is the default browser app which is included which is having some features like privacy and security features some options related to ad blocking and else and in the terms of camera what is uh, this camera app it's almost same like uh, open camera as far as i know yes it's almost same like open camera if you move on to these settings options you can see if you have ever used open camera it's just basically same you can see it's a fork of open camera which is actually an open source camera app and actually one of my favorite too the default file manager app which is included here is just same like the lineage os1 or aosp the same kind of options are present here this is about the default ui which we have settings options are just kind of different i mean options are actually same but ui is a bit different the settings icons from left side if you're able to notice are just kind of colorful and to be very honest these looks quite interesting if you compare it with the stock android these looks quite interesting quite good it includes some ota update options by the way and how to install this thing and else you have the installation guide available on the default website which i will provide you the link in the description where you can go and install this thing on a device if your device is compatible it's compatible with some asus devices zenfone and samsung xiaomi a lot of devices are compatible with this you need to check out your model and as far as i know it's only available till android 12 no android 13 update yet one more thing is if you move on to this preferences option if you want to use ot updates you have the option for uh, to customize that update auto updates check delete updates when installed mobile data warning and else and uh, as if you are concerning about modern theming as it is android 12 don't worry no monet theming at all because no addition of google play services so no monet 
but you can customize some wallpapers which are included by default you don't need any internet connection to use these wallpapers and these are on device wallpapers as far as i know in the previous update the wallpapers were not there but with this update i think so wallpapers are included but yes this is what we have you can use dark theme if you want to but no monitor theming no upgrade customizations etc if you want to use this thing as your daily driver you need to root your device and install some magic modules which you can give it a try but i'm not sure i haven't used this thing for much time security options are giving you fingerprint options which is of course quite good quite necessary it's already there and it also includes this open keychain option if i move on to these lock screen options by the way by default which is having this lock screen options pin lock which i'm using you can scramble the pin if you want to and the option is open keychain this is also actually an open source app as far as i know because i've used it once although i'm actually not sure what this app actually do i think so it is for privacy related things by the way to store passwords as far as i know from qr scan or maybe if you know what this is actually you can simply comment below and i will try to find out more about this this is advanced privacy option which was actually a very good thing and which is right now actually working here you can see trackers denied location fake and real ip address is also hidden you can even customize your internet activity to random country for almost all the apps and even you can select the apps this is a very useful thing for example for a particular app i want to change country and this is what you can do by default by using this room and i think so this this feature is just not present in any custom room any device any custom room this is very very unique and that is why i said that this is actually one of the unique custom rooms out there because i tried a lot of custom rooms and this feature to be honest it's not present anywhere you can even customize your location you can spoof your location by default and as i said you don't need to use any third party app for that you don't need to root your device so this is actually quite good you can even use your real location if you don't want to spoof that but of course you need to spoof sometimes you do these things and if you have the spare device where you want to customize and configure these things you will definitely love to use this eos which looks quite good by default trackers are already denied but location and real ip address you need to enable these options these options are not enabled by default but you can enable it simply it's totally up to you one more thing which i found after installing this latest version is micro g micro g is also installed with this version it was not available previously when i reviewed the android 11 version and if you want to take a look at that version video too i will give you the link in the card section or you can check out the description for that that is also good you have the micro g support so you can add your google account to access some google apps if you want to use like youtube or if you want to use youtube music gmail etc etc those, those options are present you have the option for uh, these things by the way it also has the option for safety net this is a, this is available but i will not recommend you to use that because why you need safe net banking apps will definitely work um not sure but most likely those those will work and location issues already there i think so but this is just completely okay other than else things are basically same and the link for everything these things in the description and i hope you like this video if you like this don't forget to like and share this and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next one goodbye